Hello everybody, Salty Sweet Ren here, and welcome back to more of The Sims 4 Infernal Destiny Challenge! And, uh, we're here with Kyoji at our house, who's been visiting with Brock, apparently, and because apparently saving the game kind of cancels out certain things, especially if you, like, start interfering with the world in between, uh, Irene is now home from preschool, so Irene just happens to be here. And we probably really need to take care of Irene, but right now, Brock is here. Don't- I don't like Brock, but Kyoji is friends with Brock. There are several reasons why- There are several reasons why I'm not fond of Brock. But, like, I'm also trying to kind of keep it, like, without, like, act outright saying that kind of stuff. But I don't think we have get to know as an option anymore, do we? Get to know. We have get we have get to know. Hey, sorry, it's just me while editing. Sorry to interrupt, but if you're new to the channel, it would help me out a ton if you would hit the subscribe button. Subscribing is completely free, and you can always unsubscribe at any time. But if you did subscribe, it'd really help me out a ton. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the video. We can learn when we can learn more of. Yeah, we already knew Brock is obsessive. We already knew that about him. But right now, I guess that Kyoji's just chatting with Brock. Wait, you're off to go and view the um, birth certificate? I don't think we need to do that. Right now, what you need is to check on your toddler, who apparently did not make it to preschool. Uh, definitely needs to have a diaper change. And what else can we do? Like, what, are, what other needs are... It's just hygiene. Okay. Go go take care of Irene. Go take care of Irene. Come on, Kyoji. I had a thought, because Irene is here and I do need to work on Kyoji's friend of the animals aspiration. Why don't we go to like a park in Brindleton Bay or something? I don't know if they have a park that would be good for a toddler. But I do want to go to a park I wanna see if I can find a park for a toddler in Brindleton Bay. All right. So I think we're gonna probably just travel. I think he'll. I think Kyoji will bring Brock along with. But as, as much as I don't like Brock, it is what he would do because Brock is here. I've got issues with some of these Sims. Oh, apparently it's more than just the diaper change that we need to take care of. Okay. Well. Wait, hang on, hang on. Cancel right now. I wanted to bring Irene as well. It was more than just you. Um, actually, why don't you, um, toddler care, why don't you give Irene a bubble bath? Because Irene does need the bath. So do that really quick, and after that, we'll travel. We will travel with... Brock and Irene after that. So I can have you do it in that order, yeah, right? Okay, uh, apparently you're trying to do them both at the same time. Okay, well, I guess we're going to find the park in the meantime. Brindleton Bay, where are you? There you are. Alright, is there a park? There is a park. It's dog friendly, but hopefully there's still some stuff for kids here too. I'd like, the I'd like for there to be stuff that kids can do, or is there stuff over here? I've never been to this place, and it looks like there might be like a little ship thing. Is that like the ship thing that toddlers can play with? Either way, Brock does need to um, hang out at Brindleton Bay for- or not Brock, Kyoji. Kyoji needs to hang out at Brindleton Bay for uh, his aspiration. So, really quick. Ah, there is a little thing that, uh, that Irene can play on, I think. You really can't stand small talk. Yeah, that's, that's fair. So, Irene is... There's a little button that says go to daycare for Irene, but... Oh, you can't play on that? I can't play on that either? Oh, no. Uh, give me a second. 
Okay, this might be a little bit crowded, but uh, Irene can play on it, so why don't you go and play in the ball pit, Irene? Kyoji is kind of here as supervision, but also Kyoji is going to be trying to take care of his aspiration. I've never actually been through Brindleson Bay as much as I liked the concept when it first came out of the whole cats and dogs thing. I never actually did anything with it. Oh, and of course, you're sitting at a chess table. And you are hanging out with Erwin Prize. I don't know I don't know who Erwin Prize is. Uh, Beyonce Asdeus, because apparently she is married to the house, the head of House Asdeus. <gasps> Hang on, there's a cat! There is a stray cat, Sonny Bundy! Why don't you go into a friendly introduction? Go into a friendly introduction to the stray. A phone call? Do you wish she looked as happy as I do? Well, you have the power, just send one simoleon to me. Don't delay, happiness is just a simoleon away. Not sure, why not? He'll probably feel like it's not completely his money because he's been like bouncing between households. Irene has reached movement level five. Irene, look at those two max skills. Kyoji has just become acquaintances with Sunny. Okay, so we need to be friendly with animals twelve times. That technically was one time. Why don't you go and uh, why don't you talk to Sunny? Um. We can give a treat, why not? Uh, play with a laser pointer seems like it'd be fun. Just kinda hang out with this little cat. I'm gonna get a screenshot of this cat. Oh, there's another cat over here! Chloe or Zulak. I feel like these cats are just like, kinda popping into people's households. But, like, you know what? That's fine. If we can, if we can, like, get, if we can get, become friends with a cat, maybe get a stray to join our household, that would be pretty cool. I mean, we, we probably aren't even equipped to take care of a cat, but it is his minor destiny. There's another cat here. So how are you, Irene? You've practiced charisma, apparently. Didn't know that didn't know that toddlers could gain charisma or practice charisma. And rested from. Okay, apparently you're done playing. What about make believe? I know you're. I know you've kind of mastered. You've kind of mastered a lot of these skills, but. Why not go ahead and do make-believe pirate shipwreck? Why not? <laughs> Meantime, you... are apparently off to go and... Don't polish that. Keep playing with Sunny. Uh, why don't you talk to Sunny some more? What is your relationship with Sunny? Okay, you need to become friends with Sunny, okay? Offer friendship. Cancel this. Oh, and there's a dog here. Hello. Okay, that's somebody's dog. It belongs to the Pandy house. Wherever the Pandy house may be. Hello! Zelina Leiraz. Zelina is here. Are you gonna... Are you gonna talk to Sunny? Okay, Sunny is leaving. Okay, maybe you're not gonna... Hmm. Okay, I think you're stuck. Kyoji might be stuck. Let me get... Let me do something really quick. Or you know what? We can probably just leave Kyoji here. I can't. I can't figure out the command right now. Let's see, there's somebody here. Let's do a funny introduction. Cause why not? There we go. Now you're moving.
Just apparently, oh, there's Sunny. Sunny is asleep. And then there is a lot of other pets around as well. If we can befriend a stray though. Befriending a stray is what I want to do. But right now we're becoming friends with Admare, who is a sun elf, I believe. I have no idea what they're talking about. But I also want to see... Oh, you've got a toy with you. Okay. You're still pretty sad from having low um, hygiene, but everything else seems to be okay. In the meantime, are there any strays around that... Burger, Welling... What is your deal? Oh wait, isn't that the thing that happens with like in Strangersville? Like you can like put a bug on someone. Has has Erwin has Erwin been bugged? Interesting. Are you polishing that to per okay? Stop polishing that to, per to uh, perfection, and come into a, a friendly introduction to this cat. To Burger Welling. Apparently you're super happy about your toddler gaining some skills. There's a very angry person over there. I just really want to make sure that you can do... Let's, let's talk to Burger. Ooh, we can actually pet this cat probably. Offer friendship and... There's a Shirtcliff dog going by. We can give a treat, because why not? And we can praise. Let's just try and get this cat to be our friend. Or we get stuck trying to interact with this cat for one reason or another. Let's try talking to the cat again. Apparently we're really glitching when we're trying to... Okay. Uh, hang on. Okay, I think I figured out I have to change his outfit. All right, we've been friendly with an we've been friendly with animals four times now. Let's try playing with the laser pointer again. We're gonna do this like little by little. Oh, Irene! Oh no, playing with toys with someone. Oh no. Okay, you're off to go and play on the ball pit though. And hello, who are you? Another- oh my gosh, that's, that's Mika's third kid, apparently. I gotta probably edit you and create a sim at some point. Oh, and you've also got like one of those amulet things. That's super cool. Uh, you? I literally can't even see your name. No idea who you are. There's a drow here. And this is Rashida Basalt. So, I think Basalt was the name of, like, one of the Earth Genasi that's in the world somewhere? And that's Burke Baum. Cecilia Kang. There's just a lot of Sims in the world. And Hanna Ralviska. She's just a regular tiefling. She is not actually related to any of the High Infernal households. But she is a very- she is a very pretty sim, though. I have to say. But 
But anyway, we're gonna try and focus on... Oh, and now you're getting hungry. We should probably go home soon. Are these water balloons? You want to eat something really delicious. Okay, I think after this, you guys should go home. You're starting to become friends with some of the strays. I'm sure you'll come back and keep trying to befriend strays. I think maybe we could even change our own lot traits to, for, like, being able to befriend strays. And off home we go. Irene is also going home, so... And you can't go home, apparently. Dude, are you actually, like, stuck? Okay, um, can you go here? Okay, then go home. Go home, buddy. Irene's already home, so go. It'll be interesting in the future to see if we can, um, keep building up, um, any friendship with the animals. I think we might also in the future, he might start setting up things so that cats will be attracted to come here. And of course, the whole family's on this side of the lot and not where the actual entrance is. I don't know why the whole thing is set up like this, but you know what? And you're feeling enamored of somebody nearby. Okay. Um, Kyoji, why don't you come and cook something? Uh, you can cook off the grid. Can you cook enough? No, you, that's only like one per, one serving. Um, cook off the grid. You can make family sized tomato soup. Or a party sized watermelon salad. Let's do party sized watermelon salad. And part of the reason I took off the simple living lot trade is because, like, it, like, one, it was kind of a hassle having to, like, get everything. Like, I know we can we can work on, like, trying to plant the stuff. But it's also just a hassle in general. Having to make sure we have every single ingredient when this isn't, like, a farming challenge itself. Maybe in the future I'll have, like, a sim who's, like, super into farming. You, I want you to give Irene a bubble bath. Because Irene really needs a bubble bath. And you probably need a bath, too, yourself. Okay. Um, toddler care, give bubble bath. Do it like this. Alright, let's, let's give Irene a bath. Let's go. Off you go. But yeah, Kyoji is in the middle of making watermelon salad for the whole family. And hopefully we'll be able to have leftovers that everyone can have. Everyone's getting a little hungry, as you can see. I'm really hoping that the game is running. I know that because of the new Spa Day update, um, some of the mods are a little bit broken. But right now, uh, Destiny is gonna give Irene that bubble bath. Kyoji in the meantime. Not quite sure how he's doing with the watermelon salad, but what's the quality? Poor. Oh dear, this is gonna be horrible, isn't it? Who's the phone call from? Hi, Kyoji. I'm calling to let you know that Belfi Selimef. Oh, Belfi! Yes. She was the head of House Selimef, meaning that now there's a new head of that household. Oh, wow. And he was friends with Belfi, is the thing. So now her son, I think his name was Morakir? Her son Morakir is the head of House Selimuth, and I don't think he has an heir himself. 
I, I, I know that um, he's married to a moon elf who has children, but they're not his children, so neither of them are the heir. So, that's interesting. We'll have to see what happens with that in the future. But in the meantime... Yep, everybody is out. You're, you're getting a leftover fruit salad. And Irene is getting some of the watermelon salad as well. So we'll go ahead and take care of that. Everybody likes to go and sit on the beds. Why are you going all the way out there to... There's a bathroom. You know that? There's a bathroom. In the meantime... You're just here with Irene. You can probably talk to Irene. I know Irene is on the bed, but friendly. Uh, you can just kind of brighten Irene's day. Just kind of chat with the BB. Give a talking to. We're not trying to like be stern or anything. Parenting. Yes. Grubble. We can teach to say please and thank you. Panic Gaziel is wondering if I want to go over to her house in the hangout. Ooh. She might be wanting to discuss the fact that one of the heads of one of the heads of one of the high infernal households has perished or has passed away. And it's just kind of like on one hand it's informing, on the other hand, we're also friends with panic. Do we want to bring Irene along? I don't think so. We'll we'll have Kyoji continue taking care of Irene for the time being. We're, we've checked in with Irene. But let's go ahead and see what all is going on here. Let's hang out with Panic for a little bit. I don't actually remember what house that I gave Panic. Umbrage Manor. Umbridge Manor. I don't actually remember much about this place. It's Willow Creek, I guess. Is this Willow Creek? It looks like Willow Creek. So I guess we're here. And let's go ahead and let's chat with Panic. So, fix bad relationship. I don't know who either of those people are, but... Let's ask about Panic's day, really quick. We all, this is also- earliest here is Panic's heir, by the way. I'm also deciding that like each household needs to have like a house color. Technically, uh, the house color for Gaziel is orange. But uh, she her favorite color is red, so she will alternate between wearing red and orange. That's another one of her kids right there. Uh, this is... Why is it? Despira. That's right. Okay, apparently we're ranting. But, uh, what are you talking about? Listen to Panic? So I believe Panic is gonna be telling us about... Okay, well, apparently Morgan is just here for some reason. Uh, we could, um, check on Panic. I'm just a little bit down, Destiny. Thank you for checking on me. Okay. <laughs> so apparently, um, the kid's asking us, You know you're my favorite grown-up in the world, right? Am I your favorite kid? If so, can I please, please get some new toys? They aren't expensive and I will play with them. You're not my kid. I, I just met you. I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to say no to that. I'm sorry, kid, but... Sorry, Despira. Don't you have a twin somewhere? Is your twin home? No? I guess not. Also, this place, I have I have not really edited this place. But, ooh, it's the TV season premiere. Oh, there's the twin. Uh, not Donnie. Um... 
Where is... Watch Peach is the new Orange premiere. Why not? We, it is the TV season premiere. We might as well, you know? In the meantime, Nut Dunny is going to be hanging out, I suppose. And we're just kind of following Despira. What other Sims are passing by? Clem. Salim. Salim's last name has changed to Ziltog, apparently. Because apparently he's married to a drow. Oh. Okay, I guess that Panic is in the middle of taking a bath. We'll just kind of focus on... Is this Peach is the new orange? That's a lot of um, ancient Egyptian culture for what I was expecting. But I guess everybody's going to be hanging out and watching it. Because it is the premiere of the new season. Or no, I guess this is going to be Peach is the new orange. Oh no, something's happening at the hospital, I guess. Oh, there goes Panic. Uh, I have no idea what the heck is going on in this. Panic, what are you up to? Apparently throwing out the trash. You had to go all the way outside to scrape off the junk. Okay. Yeah, we could chat with Earliest while we're here. We can do a friendly introduction. Kind of just introduce ourselves to these guys. We can do a heartfelt compliment, I guess. I don't know. I'm not good in co at conversation in real life. In the meantime, you want to buy a bee box? We're not buying a bee box. Level up in mixology skill. I'll keep that in mind. You want to make a friend from being happy. And, okay. I'll let you do that, I guess. And you're asleep in the tub. Okay, earliest is... And now you're awake. Okay. You might need to go home now. It's been nice hanging out here, but it is pretty late. And it's time for you to go home. You've met this household, but it's time to go. So, we'll just go home, I guess. And probably wrap up- no, not, not quite yet. We, we've got a few more minutes. We've got, for, we've got a few more minutes before we need to wrap up. Okay, why are you very sad? Because you've lost a friend. That's right. I think, um, Irene is going to go to sleep. Where's Kyoji? Over here? Okay. I think Irene is gonna come and talk to Kyoji and kind of uh is there like a thing I can do like come for him after like is there a thing I can do deep conversation we can do deep conversation uh we can Or something, like, we can do for, like, trying to comfort him after he's lost somebody. We can hug him lovingly. Yeah, come on over. Let's have you run over. Manually rename spouses. Zeus to start. Ooh, I was not expecting this. Hmm. So Zeus to Star. 
is the heiress of House Dissar, and Earlius is the heir of House Gaziel. So, tech, this is interesting. What, which house do they belong to now? Are they under House Dissar or House Gaziel? That is... Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna say randomly pick between the names. And we'll see which one they wind up being a part of. And I'll have to reselect who the heir is for the other. Because... For the sake of the bloodline... Like, they have to have a separate heir. Ooh, this should be interesting. Randomly pick between. But yeah. Let's try to cheer up. We'll we'll try to cheer up, Kyoji. Aww. I do feel kind of bad. As, like, as much as Kyoji kind of is not the best person, I do feel bad, you know? As much as Kyoji does go behind Destiny's back and, like, kind of betrays her trust in that way, like, I do feel kind of bad that about... Why don't we talk about getting out? Like, you guys have both kind of left the house recently. Oh, hang on. Growing closer from quality time. Destiny appreciates that Kyoji makes time for her. And... You're enamored. So let's go ahead and close sentiment. I'm glad I went out today. It's not good to stay indoors all the time. And now I think you two should probably both go to bed. Go ahead and sleep. And I will return to this next episode. But guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of The Sims 4 Infernal Destinies Challenge. If you enjoyed, please go ahead and hit the like button and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. And if, you, if you're not already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Subscribing is completely free and you can always unsubscribe at any time, though I personally would very much prefer if you did subscribe because subscribing actually really helps out the channel. But anyway, thank you guys so much and I will see you in the future. Stay safe out there, everybody.